What drives Kim Jong-un's extravagant spending habits, the supreme leader of North Korea? He leads an opulent lifestyle, despite the fact that he is the leader of a nation that is experiencing tremendous economic difficulties, the spending habits of him have attracted the attention and suspicion of people all over the world due to the fact that it is estimated that his offshore bank accounts contain billions of dollars. In this video, we will talk about how he spends his billions. His security detail is vast, consisting of several thousand individuals who have been trained to defend him in every circumstance. These individuals include extremely proficient martial artists, as well as experts in combat methods. One of the most noticeable aspects of his security detail is the dozen guys dressed in suits who accompany his limousine. These men are well prepared to protect him from any potential dangers that may arise. These individuals are willing to put themselves in harm's path in order to guarantee Kim Jong-un's safety through their actions. Furthermore, these are only some of the precautions that Kim takes. In spite of the fact that these security measures create the impression of being excessive, they serve as a reminder of the ongoing dangers that Kim Jong-un is confronted with, both on the internal and international fronts. Luxury timepieces and watches. The fascination that he has always had with timepieces can be traced back to his time spent as a student in Switzerland. It is estimated that he has spent roughly $8 million on his collection of watches, which he has accumulated over the course of his life. The passion that he has for watches has not lessened, despite the fact that sanctions have restricted the importation of luxury items into North Korea. The IWC Schaffhausen Portofino, a luxury brand from Switzerland that is estimated to be worth over $12,000, is one of his most cherished timepieces. Over $10,000 is the value of the American Movado Museum timepiece, which is another noteworthy piece. This clock has been customized with solid gold and a leather strap, which has increased its value. His quest for richness and rank is reflected in the fact that he has a strong liking for fancy watches. Automobiles In the same way as many other dictators do, he has a collection of more than 100 automobiles, which demonstrates his fondness for Western luxury autos. He has a number of favorite vehicles, one of which is the Mercedes Maybach S600, which is an armored limousine that costs $1.6 million and is built to survive a variety of different types of attacks. This flagship automobile is accompanied by a number of other premium automobiles, such as a Rolls-Royce Phantom, an Audi R8, and a Range Rover Sport. It is clear that he has a strong preference for luxurious and exclusive automobiles, as evidenced by his choices. Traveling In spite of the fact that North Korea is effectively cut off from the rest of the world, Kim Jong-un does occasionally travel outside of the country's boundaries, and he does it in a luxurious Il-62 aircraft. Despite the fact that the aircraft itself is a relic of Soviet aviation, it has undergone considerable renovations in order to satisfy his demands. The interior of the airplane is ornamented with leather seats designed for executive use, panels made of mahogany, and ornaments made from precious metals. The extravagant interior, which is said to cost more than $1 million, is a reflection of his commitment to luxury even while he is traveling. Kim Jong-un, in defiance of international sanctions, purchased a magnificent yacht measuring 200 feet in length, which serves as a signal of his scorn for constraints imposed by the West. His acquisition of the yacht is illustrative of his resolve to engage in luxurious activities, despite the difficulties that are associated with acquiring such items. In addition to a swimming pool and lavish decks, the boat, which is evocative of a hybrid between a ferry and a Disney cruise ship, also features a number of other facilities. He and his inner circle use the yacht as a private hideaway despite the fact that it is extravagant. This demonstrates his desire for privacy and pleasure. Even though he enjoys using a variety of transportation options, his personal train continues to be his favored way of transportation. 
All of the carriages on the train are fully armored and decorated with lavish facilities and decorations. The train was customized to meet his precise requirements. In spite of its luxurious appearance, the train's primary function is to provide Kim Jong-un with a means of traveling throughout North Korea's railway network. This network includes stations that have been specifically created in close proximity to his palace's Pleasure Island Retreat. The inclination that Kim Jong-un has for luxury extends to his personal island resort, which he has aptly christened Pleasure Island. An action park in the style of Disney, upmarket nightclubs and restaurants of the highest caliber are just some of the opulent amenities that can be found on Pleasure Island, which was designed to resemble luxury places such as Ibiza or Majorca. Despite the fact that it provides showy amenities, Pleasure Island is a private retreat for him and a select group of his guests, assuring their privacy and safety. The island is a perfect example of his love for lavishness and closeness to a select few. His extravagance is not limited to the acquisition of material goods. It also encompasses wines, spirits, and beers of exceptional quality. Reportedly, he spends excessive sums on alcohol on a yearly basis, with estimations topping $1 million. This is in spite of the fact that international sanctions have been imposed. His choices, which are in line with the political tendencies that are occurring all across the world, include whiskey, cognac, and vodka. A reflection of Kim Jong-un's thirst for luxury and excess is the extravagant amount of alcohol that he consumes. Experiencing the World of Cuisine He has a taste for gourmet meals from all over the world, and his gourmet food preferences are just as expensive as his lifestyle. It has been said that his diet consists of a variety of exotic fruits, as well as Italian pizza, Danish pork, Iranian caviar, Japanese Kobe steak, and French caviar. He continues to indulge his appetite, which demonstrates his disconnection from the realities that his people are experiencing. He has a strong preference for grandeur and excess, which is shown in his fondness for excellent cuisine, luxurious restaurants and dining. A floating restaurant on the Taidong River is a perfect example of Kim Jong-un's passion for spectacular dining experiences. He commissioned the establishment. Known as the Rainbow, this restaurant is comprised of multiple stories and provides a variety of alternatives for both gastronomic delights and entertainment. Although it is a highly controlled atmosphere, the restaurant serves as a symbol of Kim Jong-un's intention to cater to his people, despite the fact that it offers showy items. The rainbow is a manifestation of Kim Jong-un's dedication to lavishness and an extravagant lifestyle, luxurious recreational resources and facilities. It is more evidence of Kim Jong-un's penchant for extravagance that he has invested in recreational facilities. The beautiful hotel, swimming pool, ice rink, and five-star restaurant at the Masikryong Ski Resort were all built in just 10 months at a cost of millions of dollars. The resort was developed in a short amount of time. It is clear that he is dedicated to lavishness and elegance, as demonstrated by the resort. His spending patterns provide a look into his extravagant lifestyle and the things that are most important to him. Because of his wealth, he is able to live a life that is characterized by extravagance and excess. This includes complex security measures as well as costly indulgences in watches, automobiles, and leisure activities. There is no attempt to rein in his personal excess, despite the fact that North Korea is experiencing widespread poverty and economic difficulties. His spending habits serve as a sharp reminder of the massive discrepancies that exist between the governing class of North Korea and the common population of the country. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.